Should we talk about should we shame more? Should we shame men more for sleeping around? Yeah, we can definitely get into that. I think that's interesting. And so my my biggest takeaway from that is, um, men. This is the one thing and the one topic that we avoid when it comes to self discipline, right? You have gurus all over the world. You'll have gurus tell you, you know, stack your money, don't go to the club, don't drink, work out, right? Figure out ways to not burn out, et cetera, et cetera. But they'll never tell you to not fuck a bunch of girls. Matter of fact, the same gurus that you preach, you will see them Monday morning saying something inspirational. Saturday night doing things that are haram. Literally, you will see that. And haram as it has to do with women. Five, six women, Dan Bilzerian shit. And you're like, wait, weren't you just saying to be disciplined, this, this, and that? And so I think men need to be more disciplined when it comes to, and need to be shamed more when it comes to sleeping around with a bunch of women. Because believe it or not, nine out of 10 men who have a great downfall, it's probably because of a woman. So it's like that is the one of the number one things that stops us in our tracks is a woman. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I think we should be shamed more for it because we shame these girls for it. So Nah, nah, hell yeah. I mean, obviously when I was younger. Yeah, I mean you do what you when do. When you're younger, you know, and it's kind of just like how do I say? You just build into your into society, right? A man could, you know, you're a pimp. You know, you're doing this and that. You'll play. You'll pimp. The women do it. You know, they're hoes, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I'm not saying it's okay for either one to do it, but um, obviously when you're younger, you kind of feel like it's a cool thing, um, texting all these people, you know, interacting all these girls, going around fucking everybody. That's just cool, or you, at least you think it's cool. You know, I as as you get older, at least as I got an older, like that's just so wack. Like it's a waste of energy. And then once you kind of learn about like how real en- energy transmission is and like how much you give to somebody matters. Like, bro, you don't want to, you don't even want to go do all that shit. Like, you know, going around fucking girls every week, trying to hang out with girls every week to try to fuck. The amount of time you spend doing that shit, the amount of energy and money you put into this shit, like, that shit that could go into you and into, like, one person that you really want to fuck with. Because that shit is pointless. At the end of the day, that shit is fucking pointless. Hanging around, spending money on random girls just to try to do shit. Pointless as fuck. It's way better when you finally, you know, when the time is right and you meet somebody that's right, you settle down and you focus. You're not out here just, you know, dating somebody and still going out here and like doing some hood rat shit. That shit is whack. So, and it, hell yeah, like man should get fucking like put on the spot. Or like, I think it's becoming more of a norm too. Like you see yeah. it more. Like more of the homies kind of talk about it too. Like, like bro, that's just whack. Like you still have those homies that are like fucking childish. Like, oh, where we at? Where the bitches at? But like, bro, once you realize, once you get over that shit, that shit is pointless. Mm-hmm. Having one girl that's more down. And the right person that you could build with and put real time and energy to is way more better and more fun and like all that than just hopping around from one to another person that they don't bring you no, they don't even fill your soul. Like it's just horny as fuck. And then it's like you only got so many chances before you either one get burnt or two have a baby by a bitch you don't want to. You ever fucked a duck and had a pregnancy scare? <laughs> <laughs> you ever fucked a duck and had a pregnancy scare? <laughs> That'll have not you me. not want to dibble in nothing ever again. That'll have you. That'll have you not wanting to dibble in nothing ever again. Let me tell you, you have a pregnancy scare with a girl that you didn't want to be with. You'll be on the ground praying to God, please don't let it be. Please don't let it this be. If, it, if, if, if it's if it if it doesn't come out, then I will never do this shit again. That's how it goes. So even shit like that, you fuck around enough times, you're gonna either get burnt up or you're gonna you feel me. You're gonna have a baby by somebody you don't want to have a baby by, right? And um, but the, like the most serious thing with it is just. Self-discipline. And like I said, with with women, that is the one thing that is every man's vice at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Every man w- love, would love to have sex with a bunch of women and all this different shit, right? But at the end of the day, it's not what's fulfilling. best for us. It's not fulfilling. It doesn't... It comes back to discipline too, right? Like, if you're not dis- disciplined... Say you have a girl and you're not disciplined and loyal enough to like... Like, this is a person you go and lay home with and and and... You know, they know your whole life and your whole world. Like, if you're not disciplined enough to keep it accountable and be real to them, like, how can you be disciplined enough with anything else? Like, you know, your gym, your business, your business partners, your friends. Like, if you go home and lie to the person that means the world to you and you're going to be crying if she do that shit to you. And people don't understand about the about the consequences of sleeping around or, like, you know, going behind somebody's back and doing shit. Like, karma has a way of... And that's what I mean by a woman is a lot of times... 
a man's downfall to his life because if you realize once that fuck up his brain is off wired mm -hmm. right now his brain is off wired now the nigga ain't showing up for work every day now he ain't in that gym every day now he's not stacking that money every day and then life just starts to deteriorate but it all starts at that woman that you were chasing or the or the six women that that you was you feel what i'm saying fucking and one of them found out now they keyed your car and egg whatever like now you got to go pay for this and do that it's a whole list of problems and for what you know what i mean and you're right. You still got homies like, man, I just messed with this chick and did this and did that. And those are usually the homeboys that are behind. Yeah, bro. They're not on shit. Yeah, bro. Obviously, look, it's fun. It's funny. And they're not sitting here and like, oh, shit, boy. Yeah. If you, you know, like turning up and if you're single as fuck, enjoying your life, turning up, going out to a club, meeting a chick, blah, blah, blah. It's fun. But the overall picture of like, that's what you're chasing for. Like, that is your goal. Like, you have those people that wake up. Where the bitches at? You know, yeah. like, you know, they go to a club and they don't, they cannot stand still. They go up to every fucking girl, like, let that shit go. Like, it's never that serious. You know, it's never that fucking serious, you know? And, and, and that's kind of fucking weird and kind of, I don't know. Like, it's like, I don't know. You look dirty. You look mustard. You look dirty. You look weird. I think sleeping around on some shit, you can't, you got to stop at like, at like 21 you gotta you gotta you gotta cap that um, yeah, some yeah. dude from complex speedy norman he was saying like there's some shit once you hit 25 you just yeah. can't do no more like somebody in a club and you kiss them and y'all you don't even know this person y'all kissing in a club that's weird that's some shit like when you 21 you in an 18 yeah, year old club it's okay fun. whatever it's funny that's funny shit if but... i see two grown ass motherfuckers <laughs> that don't know each other <laughs> slime each other's mouth in a club i'm that, that shit is nasty don't do that shit you're a little bit too old but um, nah, it's, it's just it's just it just comes with growth, right? Like knowing that um, your seed is powerful, right? Like the same way that we tell women, like, yo, you know, protect your goods, right? Like men have to do the same because at the end of the day, we are the ones putting these babies in these women. So be careful what you do. Practice sexual discipline because you don't want to, like I said, get burnt or have a baby by somebody you don't want to be with. That's just like the worst two things that could happen. And it's 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 energy release, bro. Like, this is real. When you have sex with someone, you're changing energies. And, like, you know, going around sleeping with anybody could fucking literally hold your soul down. Like, you're not going to wake up feeling the same. You're going to, oh, I'm tired. I'm a dream. Because you're fucking giving your energy to the most randomest people that don't deserve half that shit. Y'all want to know something? That ain't never happened to me. I, every, I always wake up the next day. Like, I'm ready great. to turn up. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm telling you, you know, in the overall picture. No, you know? but I, I do. I do. I'm, just, I'm just cracking jokes. But yeah. Nah, hell no. Nah. You wake up like, yeah, I got that shit yesterday. <laughs> well, I'm downstairs. <laughs> Pancake. <laughs> Pancake flipping the air. We go in a bed too gross. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool enough, but you know, as you get older, you go, you'll figure it out. I wanted to. Ask